Hello everybody, Corey here from Corey Turner Talks. It is time to go car shopping. I thought today we'd go on cars.com. I like using that website as well. We're gonna go into Keller, Texas, and we're gonna look around 30 miles around that area. That's the 76244 zip code, if you're looking for it by zip code. And let's see what kind of great cars and great deals we can find today. So we're gonna have to jump straight in. All right, looky here, right off the bat, a 2015 Honda Genesis. Uh, this is the 3.8. Uh, this one has 62,000 miles on it. They're wanting $18,700. As you know, I love the Hyundai Genesis. I love the amount of features they put in these cars. I love the attention to detail they put in these cars. Uh, it is packed with technology and things like that that you just don't find at these price points. Um, I think this is a beautiful car. I wish they'd have put the steering wheel the regular way, but that's okay. Um, fantastic car, fantastic ride. Uh, all the features and everything you get for the price, it's really hard to beat. So uh, let's see, this one here, anything special? They're telling it's a six cylinder, has 62,000 miles. Of course, it is rear wheel drive. Um, that is a great car. I like that. So we'll start right off good with the Hyundai Genesis. All right. All right, of course, the Maserati. Here's their SUV. Uh, this one is $51,900. Uh, it has 11,750 miles on it. Not a lot of pictures. Beautiful interior. 11,750. Okay, so it's practically brand new. It's two years old, but it didn't go anywhere. Uh, it sure didn't go anywhere. I, um, I clicked on to look at private sellers, so sometimes dealers get mixed in there as well. But that's a good-looking Maserati. Uh, I think they did a really good job with that SUV. Have not had the opportunity to drive that one yet. Looking forward to it. Okay, a 2006 Dodge Ram, this is the 2500 SLT. What are they wanting for this? They're wanting $15,000 for this one. Has 250,000 miles on it. Let's take a spin around. All right, it's got the, we got, ah, three cup holders. That's excellent, forward thinking on that. It's got plenty of room, it is the Mega Cab, so it's got a lot of room in the back seat. It's got the cloth interior. It's gotta be something going on. Okay, so, uh, it's a 5.9 Cummings, um, but the uh, transmission was replaced 50,000 miles ago. So it has a, uh, a new transmission on it, and the front end was rebuilt in April of 2019. So there's more information on that one. Yeah, you can tow just about anything you wanted to with that truck for sure. All right, so cool. So we got a nice truck there. All right, let's keep rolling and see what we see. GMC Denali. This is the 2011. Uh, this one is uh, $16,995 is what they're asking. has 131,454 miles. Um, let's see. Are we, oh, we're wearing shorts today to take our picture. Very nice. Must have been warm outside. Um, I like the Denali's. I like what GMC has done with those. Luxurious. Uh, plenty of features, plenty of minutes. What were the Kings of Leon? All right, Kings of Leon. All right, we've got some good music playing here while we're taking a look at the car. One hundred thirty-one thousand dollars on the one hundred thirty-one thousand miles on the odometer. All right, it's got the entertainment uh, package, so your back seat passengers can watch a movie while you're driving around. You can still open up your sunroof there. Great looking. We got a car seat, so definitely know it can pack a car seat. And in the back, it looks like it's got two captain's chairs. So you got the two captain's chairs in the back. So that's the GMC Denali. I like the Denalis. Uh, I like what GMC has done with those. All right, let's keep on looking. Okay, sorry, it takes us back to the top each time. So let's just keep going. Oh, BMW M2. That's a nice car. Like that car quite a bit. What do we got? We're taking a picture. I see our shadow. Can't tell what's going on there. Um, let's see here. So this one has is, has eleven thousand one hundred miles. They want forty six thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for it. Uh, these are crazy cars. All right. So look, you're talking about a six cylinder car, uh, six cylinder engine, and a car that doesn't weigh that much. Of course, it's it's an M. That is like having a sports car on the street. Fast, nimble. Quick response. These are cool cars. I love the M badge. Anytime you see the M badge, got carbon fiber on the pool there. Um, good looking car. Those are sharp. A lot of fun. A lot of bang for the buck. Where they say forty six thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. That's a cool car. So the BMW definitely stands out. All right, let's keep going. See what we see. Uh, you know, I got to look at a classic uh, Cadillac. This is a two thousand eight Cadillac DTS. 
we're talking about luxury here. They only want $8,900 for it. It has 35,332 miles. Is that right? A 2008, we're not a car that's 11 years old, only driven 3,000 miles per year and always stored in the garage. So this car is not driven at all. 35,332 miles. I drive more than that in a year. So that is not gone anywhere. I like the Cadillacs, lots of use of plastic, but I like the Cadillacs, very plush, still comfortable. Um, you know, I'm getting to that place where I like to have comfort. And of course, this big Cadillac is going to give it to you. All right, so I like the Cadillac there. That's pretty cool. All right, let it reload here. Let's just keep on going, see what we see. Nice Tacoma. Okay, 1997 Ford F-250. This is the XLT Super Cab, I'm sure. Yep, Super Cab. Kind of the old school square Ford truck. Look at that bad boy. It's got the long bed on it. They want $4,995 on this one. 241,978 miles. Almost a wow. Almost a quarter of a million miles. Look at the big old diesel engine there. Cloth interior. Uh, 7.3 diesel. That's the heavy duty power stroke, of course. Eight cylinders. That's pretty cool. And that has a ton of miles on it, which is also pretty cool. Oh, look here. 2008 Dodge Charger SRT8. Uh, they're wanting $19,000 for this. It has 41,589 miles. Also still low miles. I really like it in the red. Of course, I like the SRT. I like the big Hemi that's under there. Okay, they got a Texas Tech fan there. So probably uh, may have limited the, the, the buying base just a little bit. But of course, Texas Tech, very cool. Basketball is very cool there, right? Um, let's keep going around. Oh, like uh, all the accessories there. All right, I can't quite tell what it was MSRP for. I wish we could. Of course, there's a picture of the big Hemi engine. These are cool cars. I like the carbon fiber that they use there on the center console. And I always love the SRT. I love the SRT. Uh, it's simplistic, but I think it's very cool especially when it's put into the seats like that. Okay, so that's a good looking car. I like that one. All right, let's go back. So all of that Hemi power. So I like that quite a bit. All right, we're gonna keep on searching and see what we see. 2001 BMW, oh, look at here. 1971 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Yeah, that's cool. Let's check out see how that body looks. Look, the body looks like it's in really good shape. They want $27,500 for this one. It has 100,000 miles. I always love those shifters. Uh, growing up, I used to go to the arcade and play a video game called Afterburner. I think Sega made it, and you had that throttle, and you had to hit it, and that's what makes me think of that. So I'd be like, every time I'd move that, I'd think of a jet fighter. All right, that is a cool-looking car. Hey, plenty of trunk space, right? See if there's any information on this. They have a rebuilt 350 turbo transmission, uh, big block 427. That's very cool. 1971. All right, let's go back. Oh, cool. It's going to hold us right where we are. That's good. Um, let's see. Uh, 2014 Land Rover Range Rover Sport HSE. Yep, HSE. So that's supercharged. It's $38,500. Uh, has 33,662 miles. A lot of low miles. Of course, we got some. I guess the Ford was a quarter of a million miles. But there are some low mile cars here, vehicles we're getting to see today. That one looks really sharp. I like that. I like that interior. I think those are good looking. Okay, so in the back seat, you've got the headrest. You've got the uh, monitor mounted headrest so they can watch TV in the back. Watch movies while you're traveling. All right, everything seems to be in pretty good shape there. At that mileage, you would sure hope. Um, again, they want $38,500 for that. That looks really good. Okay, let's keep on going. See what else we see here. Got some advertisements popping up. All right, there's a nice Toyota Tundra. Oh, well, looky here. 2010 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport. This thing has been customized out. Look at that. It's got the snorkel on. It's got the lights across the top. Um, I'm going to look the Rhino Guard spray on it. Um, let's take a look around here a little bit. Yeah, got the big brush guard, the bumper. Those are good-looking wheels. It's got the cage on the top. 
probably has a water or gas can on the side. Yep, sure does, right there. All right, that's a cool truck. Okay, so they want $26,000 for this one. It has 33,901 miles. That is a great looking Jeep. That's a lot of fun. They've done, they've customized that bad boy up. Yeah, that would be a good time in that one. That's a good looking Jeep. I like that. All right, okay. Let's uh, keep sliding down. Sorry, gonna make you sick, but let me get back to where we were. Uh, 2004 Jeep Li Liberty Renegade. This is the first generation of the Jeep Liberty where they were kind of curvy. Um, of course, the second generation went and made it quite much more square. Um, this one, of course, this is the Renegade, so it's got uh, some extra features to it. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I remember that interior. I had one of these. Uh, so this one is uh, has 139,000 miles on it, 139,200 miles on it. They want $6,650 for it, and MSRP came in at $25,905. Had a special value package discount. Look at that. All right, very cool. Yeah, all right, so I like the... I like the Jeep Liberties. I know some people don't like that first generation. I'm trying to figure out what they were doing, but I think they were pretty cool. And it was a good car. I owned one for quite a while. And like I say, it was it was a good car for us. So, so uh, respect there for the Jeep Liberty. Okay, let's see what else is going to come up. All right, the Liberty. Oh, 2016 Cadillac. Check this out. This is the CTSV. This is a monster of a car. They want $54,900. Uh, it has 44,300 miles. It's a 2016, so it's three years old. That's like a $100,000 car right there. Um, it, to look at it, you're like, okay, that's not that's got something going on. But if people don't know, they're like Cadillac. So you could almost say it's a sleeper. Uh, but this is a mean, mean car here. Okay, cool. It looks like we got the MSRP. Oh, you can't quite make it out. It's over, it's six figures. Can't quite read all of it right there. This is a crazy car. Let's see what details they give us back here. They said it's fully loaded, has the fully loaded, has the performance data recorder, the carbon fiber package, sunroof, stainless works, cat back exhaust. Um, yeah, these are crazy cars. I had one uh, kind of pull up next to me. It's been a little bit. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I was looking around to try to figure out what car that was and then quickly realized, oh, it's the Cadillac making that noise. Uh, you should be able to tell from looking at it with the ground effects, with the package on there, with that hood on there, that something's up. The sound of it for sure lets you know something up. But like I say, people do not expect that from a Cadillac. So that's a, that's a great Cadillac there. Okay, we're going to keep going. I think, are we close to the bottom? Okay, that is it right there. That's where we're going to go. Okay, so a lot of cool cars. That Jeep Wrangler, uh, that was really cool. They did a great job with that one. I like the Jeep Liberty. I thought that was pretty cool. The Hyundai Genesis still was one of those that I love those cars. I love what Hyundai's done with that. But I probably gave myself away because you could probably see the excitement on my face when I saw this car, the 2016 Cadillac CTS-V. That is a mean car right there. That is a true muscle car right there. High performance, Cadillac high performance, which you don't really expect anymore. Um, that's a cool car. That's going to be my pick for today. That's the car we'd be cruising around in. So do you agree with me? Leave that in the comments. If there's a car you would have taken instead, leave that in the comments. If you've owned one of these, leave some information in the comments. I want to hear about that for sure. If you found any good deals here recently, post some pictures leave that in the comments. Remember to like, comment, and share. Let's go car shopping tomorrow.